Yo, yo, yo. I am back. Back again with another episode. Yes, sir. Still haven't made my my uh, tag yet. I haven't did my banner yet. But welcome back. Lockout men. Mates the call for you again. Yes, sir. What's going on? Same shirt. Same day. Different call. Different day to produce. I mean, uh, to distribute it. But I'm glad you guys watching. Yes, sir. Yo, I hope you guys liked the last episode, which we made to Estates. It's Estates. However you pronounce that, I can never pronounce it good because I'm always tongue-tied. So you, you guys got to excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. But anyway. I am back again with another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yes, sir. MTC4 2020. Yes, sir. Today's call is going to be made to... Who are we going to make the call to today? Purdy Bros. Yes, sir. Purdy Bros Trucking. Let's see a little bit... Um, Let's see a little bit about Purdy Bros. Of course, they deliver in all 48 continuous states in Canada. They hire experienced drivers from areas outlined in red. So, I guess this is the outline in red. <laughs> so, by the looks of it, if they only hire out of this particular area right here, it looks like that they only do regional hmm i think they only do regional so they don't look like they hire out of out of maine out of the out of the top part right there and none west of wisconsin or uh none west of kansas and anything else huh that's interesting that is interesting to know. So, what else about Purdy Bros? Let's see. About us. About Purdy Bros Trucking. They are a PS logistics company that was founded in 1972 with three units and a base of operation in Knottsville, Tennessee. They have grown steadily over the years as a truckload carrier of refrigerated and drive-in goods. They are 48 states as well as Canada. I want to find out how they do Canada loads. Uh, let's see. Their terminals are located in London, Ludow, Tennessee, uh, Princeton, Illinois, Zellwood, Florida, and White Post, Virginia. Let's get them on the phone right quick. Let's get them on the phone. See what they got to offer. For quality assurance, this call may be recorded. Recording. This is Christina. Hey, Christina, how you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm a I'm a five year truck driver. Interested in finding out a little bit more about uh, is it called Purdy Bros or Party Bros? Purdy Brothers. Purdy Brothers. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Um, I was friends with a truck driver, uh, a female truck driver that drove for you guys a while back, and I was talking to her mm -hmm. uh, about the company as well. So basically, um, okay. what, basically, what I'm interested in is to see what you guys have to offer. You know, I'm just asking uh, general questions, so just to see if sure, you know sure. if the company is a uh, is a good fit. So my my, sure. my very first question again is general, but do you guys offer uh, CDL schooling for drivers that don't have their CDLs? No, unfortunately, we do not. Our insurance requires um, all drivers have to have a minimum at least, of at least twelve months' experience. Okay, so you guys want to, so you guys want them to have a uh, twelve year, uh, twelve years. God damn it, man! <laughs> twelve, <laughs> 12 months, a, yeah. a year, a year of experience. Even even if a yeah. driver that do have a year of experience, do we still got to go out with a with a with a trainer, or do you guys offer that? No, no, mm -mm, we don't offer any training. Um, 
I mean, you go through orientation training, but no, you don't go out with a driver. Um, that's why we require, we have to have the 12 months in the last three years. Oh, okay. Okay. Where, where are you guys, um, where are you guys, where's, where's the terminal or the main terminal located at? Our corporate office is in Loudoun, Tennessee, which is south of Knoxville on 75. And oh. then we have terminals in Illinois, Virginia, and Florida. Oh, okay, okay. So, but where where would I come for my orientation? In Tennessee. Oh, okay. So I would come down to Tennessee. Will you guys fly me down yeah. there, or? Yeah, we would either do a car rental, a plane ticket, or a bus ticket. Oh, okay. Well, no, we we don't need to do bus, but the plane ticket and the car yeah. rental is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll uh, do that. We do that. Okay, I'll, I'm great with that. I am great with that. Do you guys offer a sign-on bonus? We do, 5000 and that is paid out in your first year, and you do get 1200 of that on your first check. Oh, okay, okay. So th that that means I would get the 1200 plus my orientation pay. How, how much is the orientation pay, and how long is orientation? Uh, we actually don't have orientation pay. We just we pay for the transportation, we pay for your room, and then we take care of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, okay. Um, and the orientation itself is three is three days long, and then you, like I said, you do receive the twelve hundred of the sign on on the first check. Okay. Uh, once we get assigned a truck, are we able to take our trucks home? Mm -hmm. As long as you have a secure place for it, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. That shouldn't that shouldn't be uh too much of a too much of a problem. So for pre employment drug testing, do I got a two part question on that? So, uh, do you guys do hair follicles? for drug testing no. all right and the no. other and the other question is um do i take care of all my pre-employment stuff before or after orientation what do you mean all of your pre-employment you mean like your application and things well i know about the applications but what about the drug testing and stuff like that do i have to do oh, the no, the drug testing and everything is handled as part of the orientation process. Oh, okay. So it's do so all that is during orientation. Now you know I came across yeah. I, I came across uh, a couple of people talking about this new thing. Now I'm thinking it's called like the clearinghouse. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So yeah. if for whatever reason that I would come in and say, hey, I changed my mind. Uh, or I want to go to, you know, I got a, a better offer at a different company while I'm in the midst of going through it with you guys. If I, if mm -hmm. I refuse all of that, would that still go against me if I refuse the drug testing for any yeah, reason? Yeah, if you refuse a drug, yes. If you refuse a drug test, yes. That gets reported as a refusal. Wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm I'm lightweight thinking like, you know, if let's say if we get if I get like a a better position or a better offer and I'm in the midst of going through it with you guys and I say, "Hey, um Oh, thank if you, you get a better offer. I mean, you you do your drug screen on the very first day. Oh. So, okay. if you get a better offer, you just tell them that you've decided not to take the position. Oh, okay. And you want to go home. Yeah. No, 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 no. Refusal of the drug screen and deciding to take a position elsewhere is two different things. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you for clarifying. Yeah. No, they're that. two different things. Okay. Yeah. Now for, for my medical card, um, do, do I have mm -hmm. to get a new medical card with you guys or can I use my current one that I have? No, everybody gets a new medical card. Um, you will go to our company doctor, and they're the ones right then and there. They do your physical and drug screen. That's the first thing that we do. Oh, okay, okay. What about uh, what, what's your guys' policies on felons? They have to be over ten years old. Oh, okay, okay. Um, you already we we do haul pharmaceuticals, so unfortunately, our insurance is a little bit particular on that. I got you. I got you. Um. All right. So. What's the CPM? What's, what's the CPM? We are actually strictly percentage. You only you make 27% of every load that you haul. Oh, 
Okay, so that's okay. Being out, so me coming from a CPM over the percentage, can you break that down for me a little bit? Because twenty seven percent sounds low. Um, actually, no, that's high on the industry standard. A lot of companies are around the twenty to twenty three percent. Okay. Um, ours is twenty seven percent of the load. If you figure in, so you're actually getting paid if you're paid your loaded miles. Mm-hmm. So what you're looking at is about well anywhere from a dollar ten to mm, up to dollar eighteen dollar twenty a loaded mile. Mm-hmm. So when you figure in your empty miles, I mean that could be anywhere from fifty to sixty cents a mile loaded and empty. When you figure in your empty miles with that. Okay, and you guys figure that all in as a as a percentage base. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So, tw- um, yep, you make twenty seven percent of what we get paid on the load. Okay, so is do now? Let me ask you this question right quick because being this is my first time, uh, mm-hmm. it's first time asking. You know, about, you know, I'm I'm a CPM type of guy. So coming from coming from mm-hmm. CPM over the over the percentage, uh, mm-hmm. would I actually see? How much the load is? Yes. On on my yes. paycheck, you'll see it right on the computer. Oh, okay. And then I and then I will see my cut out of that. Yes. Oh, okay. You guys, is there per diem on 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 that or no? Yeah, actually, they do offer per diem. Um, oh, my mind just went blank. <laughs> we stopped that. It's so much a day. Um, <laughs> Take your time. Oh, I'm sorry. It has been such a day today dealing with this clearinghouse thing because the the website crashed. Um, oh, okay, okay. Well, I, I'll part. I, I gotta. You know what? I gotta ask. I don't remember. It's like fifty. It's so much a day. It's like fifty dollars, fifty dollars a day. Okay. So it's like three hundred dollars additional a week. Oh, okay. Is that is that mandatory? You know. Per diem. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, we don't we don't have an option. Oh, okay, okay. So, with the percent, so being that it's a percentage base, um, what would be that? So, usually I would ask the questions about miles, but being that this is percentage mm-hmm. base, what what would be the 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 average? What would be the average lows so, on that? Well, the average growth for our drivers. I mean, it depends on how long you stay out. How you know? I mean, there's a lot of factors that play into that. But if a driver is running, I mean, we've got some guys that only want to be around a thousand bucks a week because they've got they can only make so much a week. Right. We've got gentlemen that are happy being around the thirteen hundred. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got a driver that does a lot of road recruiting for me. Okay. He's averaging right around seventeen hundred dollars a week. So. Everybody's a little bit different. I mean, the guy that's doing the road recruiting for me stays out. You know, he's willing to run two weeks oh, okay. and then go home or three weeks and then go home. So everybody's a little bit different. Okay. Now let me ask you this. For the home time, like for the guys that if do – you, do you guys run weekly, you know, out for a week, home for, for, home for two days or – No. Our, our drivers are hired under an OTR basis. They're out anywhere from ten days to two weeks at a time. Okay, and the thirty. 30- unless I mean, unless you're hired for a specific, like we've got a couple, you know, retired gentlemen that do just shuttle in trailers and, you know, that type of thing. All right. So this is so you guys is OTR based. So no regional yes. or, or anything like that. No. Okay. So do no. you do Correct. you do you guys force dispatch out to New York and California? Uh, we don't go to California. We are authorized. Our primary running area is east of the Mississippi River. So uh, New York City, however, no, is not a force dispatch. Oh, okay, okay. Do you guys pay uh, vacations and holidays? Um, the only ho- vacation, yes. One week after one year, two weeks after three years. And the only holiday, I mean, if you're wanting home for holiday, you're home. Right now, some of our drivers, um, the only holiday they pay is because they chose to stay out is Christmas. Okay, but otherwise, everybody, I mean, you're home. Okay, and we we don't get we don't get covered for any any other holidays, but 
but Christmas. No. All right. Correct. What about uh what about breakdown pay, detention pay, layovers? Uh, breakdown pay is at twenty dollars an hour. Detention and layover is paid based on it's done on a per customer basis, but it's generally um, sixteen fifty an hour after the first two hours. Okay. What type of what type of freight are we hauling with you guys? It's all refrigerated. Oh, it's all refrigerated, so no drive-in or nothing like that? No, no. Mm-mm. I hate refrigerator trailers. <laughs> but if yeah, I gotta, yeah. If no, I, they're all refrigerated. If I got to if I got to drive one, I'll, I'll I'll get it done. So, being that this is refrigerated, <laughs> you you guys don't require hazmat. No, we do not. All right. What type of what what benefits do you guys offer? Blue Cross, Blue Shield. Medical, dental, and vision for single or family, mm-hmm. and that's available after thirty days. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. How how much is it for a single for a single person? How much would be taken out of my check? Um, if you're looking at the medical, dental, and vision, you're looking at about fifty one dollars a week. Oh, fifty one dollars a week. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. so being that you guys is an OTR company, how many miles I can average a week there? Um, again, it depends on the driver, but I mean, you could be 2,500 to 3,000 plus. Everybody's a little bit different. Okay. Can we, can, now let me ask you this. Some companies don't run tolls, but can we run the tolls? Yeah. All right. Is, is the tolls reimbursed as well as the scales and parking? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, being that we just got off of home time. So home time is is out for five, home for two. Is that and is that is what I just lost you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, my plug came out. Sorry. Hello. Hold on. There we go. My plug came out. Can you hear me? Hello. Oh. <laughs> yep. Now I can. Go ahead. All right. Sorry about that. Um, the home time, okay. the home time policy. We're we're out for uh, you know, like five, seven days. Um. Are we home for two full days, or is it after our 34? Our drivers are out 10 days to two weeks. So Mm -hmm. the rule of thumb is a day and a half at home for every seven days that they're out. So it's a day and a half at home, so not two full days. That's a rule of thumb. I mean, that is flexible. Because we do have guys that stay out for a full two weeks, and they'll stay home for four days and then go again. We don't have a problem with that. Okay, okay. What about a pet and rider policy? Uh, They're available immediately. They're both free of charge. Just the rider policy, they do have to be over the age of 18. Oh, okay, okay. And I, I could bring my little dog if I want. Excuse me. Yes, you can. I'm sorry. No, no. You, <clears throat> no. Yes, you can. You're good. Um. All right. So let's say I'm I'm out with you guys. I'm driving, and all of a sudden, like 30 days in or 90 days in, I feel that the marriage is not going the way I wanted to go. What is the What is the policy for turning in the truck if I decide to to let you guys go? Um. You just you work with your DM, and they'll have you take it to a terminal. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That'll work. That'll work. What Now, what kind of trucks do you guys offer, though? What, what kind of equipment? We have new Freightliner Cascadias. Oh, okay. Uh, are you guys all the automatic fleet now, or y'all still got some manuals there? Uh, no, they're pretty much all automatics. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. What's, uh, what's the uh, computer system for the truck for the e-logs? Qualcomm. Qualcomm. I am very familiar with mm-hmm. Qualcomm. Uh, do you guys have uh, inboard dash cam? We do. Uh, facing the driver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just the event recorders. Yeah, that's that's a big big thing with me with that. <laughs> uh, what's mm-hmm. the what's, mm-hmm. what's the trust governed at? They're supposed to be sixty five. To be honest, um, but a lot of them are running sixty-eight and seventy. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you that in orientation. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, cool, cool. Well, thank you. What? What? Damn. What's your name again? 
Christina. Christina, thank you for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Um, this uh, not a problem. It's some good information that I will take with me, and I'll put it, you know, put this in consideration. Like I said before, when I started talking to you, I I talked to a female driver friend of mine that you know gave me a little bit of information about you guys. So um, I was just interested to know a little bit more, and you you know you gave it to me. So I really do appreciate it. Thank sure. you. Not a problem. Thank you. All right. You take it easy now. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye. All right. All right, guys. Okay. So what do you guys think of that call right there? Purdy Bros. You guys are interested. If you guys are interested in Purdy Brothers, well, actually it's Purdy Brothers. Uh, Let's see. Let's go here. All right, so if you guys, let me see if I can bring it up. Can I bring it up? There it is. So if you guys interested in Purdy Bros, again, the pay is 27% line haul, 99% no touch freight, seven days a week dispatch and maintenance. Additional pay, you get layover pay, breakdown pay, stop pay, detention pay, lumpers. They pay the lumpers, they pay the scales. And of course you get easy pass and the pre-pass. You get a sign-on bonus of $5,000, the first 1,200 after the first load. You get a referral bonus and other bonus available. And again, the benefits is vacation pay, 401k, riders allowed, assistant tractors, medical, dental, vision, short-term disability, life insurance. And yes, the pet and rider is out of the gate so what do you guys think of that call i will rank that call an eight i'm going to give that call an eight because she she had a brain freeze there for a second but still came out of the gate and gave me the, the all the information that i was curious to know about purdy brothers so what do you guys think leave your comments in the comments below definitely if Today's call was suggested by Don. Thank you very much for the suggestion to Purdy Bros. If you guys have any questions for me to ask the Nets recruiter, definitely leave them in the comments below. And again, if you guys want to know who I'm going to call Nets, definitely check out the community page on the YouTube page and let me know who you're interested in calling. All right. Let me know. Let me know. Well, I am glad that you guys stopped by again for Lockout Men Mates to call. Today was Purdy Bros. Tomorrow would be somebody else. The next minute will probably be somebody else. I don't know, but we'll find out together. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys come at me in another video. I will come at you in another video. Peace. And, yo, I, I'll, get my, I, I'll get my banner up. Don't worry about it. My banner coming soon. <laughs> Banner's coming soon.